Hello, we are in the Helonian University Museum. The Helonian University is the oldest higher educational institution in Poland and one of the oldest in Europe. It was founded on 12 May 1364 by the Polish king Kazimir III the Great, who is considered to be one of the most important Polish monarchs in history. He provided Fungens for the first higher educational institution on Polish territories. The university was initially granted the name Studium General. After King's death, development of the Studium General stopped. Lectures were held in private houses of professors, churches, and in the Cathedral School of the Royal Hill. The institution was restored in 1400 by King Vladislav II Yagilo and his wife Jadwiga. The Collegium Maius was built at the beginning of 15th century because the fast development necessitated the purchase of largest premises. The university educated Polish and intellectual elite. Almost 40% of uh, the students came from abroad. The university was the first in Europe to establish independent chairs in mathematics and astronomy. Between 1491 and 1495, in the university studied Nicolaus Copernicus. The auditorium, known as the Egelonian Hall, is a formal theologian's lecture hall which today performs representative functions. It's situated in the oldest part of Collegium Maius. The stone portal features the sentence pluratio quam vis, reason means more than strange, published here by the founder of the Egelonian University Museum, Professor Karl Estreher. A little later it became the motto of the university. In the auditorium there is a gallery of over a hundred portraits of the most important figures associated with the university from 16th to 20th century. Polish kings, Krakow bishops and the most outstanding professors and students. A special place is occupied by five portraits of Professor Madre during Second World War in the German concentration camps. Above the middle door there is an image of Pope John Paul II, who was a student and professor of uh, the Jagiellonian University. In the 15th century, in the Krakow University was a rapid development in mathematics and astronomy. Among the many young men who came to Krakow were Andrei and Nikolai Copernicus. Their name can be found on the copy of uh, the 1491 immatriculation list displayed in the wall of this room. There were students in the Faculty of Philosophy, also known as the Faculty of Liberal Arts. The particular valuable instruments displayed in this room include the donation of Professor Marcin Belitsa of the Olkish, an Arabic astrolabe from Cordoba, and a set of rare astronomical instruments uh, dating to the late 15th century, Astrolabe, Troquetum and Celestial Globe. The instruments arrived to Krakow in 1493, at the same time when Nikolai Copernicus was a student in the local university. In this room, it's also possible to see the facsimile of Copernicus manuscript titled The Revolutionibus Orbium Coelestium on Revolution of Celestial Spheres. Now we are in the Libraria. It's the hall of the formal Collegium Maius Library built in years 1516-1540 through the decorative Gothic portal called the Golden Gate, Porta Aurea. It is currently entered into the permanent museum exhibition. A characteristic element of the interior is the late Gothic net vault. The neo-baroque cabinets contain books from the collection of the Puslovsky family 18th-19th centuries, as well as old library catalog boxes. The boost on display here show famous figures of people of culture from ancient times to the 19th century. 
The walls of Libraria are decorated with portraits of people who once contributed to the development of the book's collection of the Jagiellonian Library and the Jagiellonian University Museum. There is also a set of three wooden astronomical instruments that are replicas of instruments used by Nicolaus Copernicus, Quadrant, Triquetrum, and Termillary Sphere and a revolving desktop for books from the 19th century. Monthly meetings of the Jagiellonian University Senate are usually held in Libraria. Just few steps from the Collegium Maius, situated the professor's garden. It also has a long history. Before, its main function was to provide vegetables for professors living in the Collegium. Despite its small size, the professor garden has many educational installations that allow to learn about various physical and astronomical phenomena and even perform simple scientific experiments. In addition, in the garden placed images of professors from the Jagiellonian University. At the beginning of its history, the garden was much larger. It was later abandoned and restored several times. At various times, this area served as an orchard, a botanical garden, and even a warehouse for building materials. Today, garden is renovated and open to public and to students of the university. Today, the Hilonian University comprises 16 faculties, where 4,000 academic staff conduct research and provide educational to over 40,000 students, which in frameworks of more than 80 different files of study.